Right, we're making this step one, which is um, vending for a period of time, which I always suggest to you guys, somewhere between six to 12 months minimum, right, is because the female strategy when trying to um, get into a relationship with you is to sell purity. I'm a good girl. I'm not like the others. You know, I don't party. I don't do X, Y, Z, etc. And your job as the man, right, is to see if she's telling the truth or not. And the only way that you could properly assess this is by um, seeing her for a significant amount of time. Because the only way you'll be able to figure out what's really going on and see how she really moves is through the vetting process and over a period of time. One of the biggest mistakes that guys make is wifing up girls too early on in the relationship uh, when you know her. And the problem for that is, you know, let's just deal with what it is. Guys will meet a girl, she'll be attractive, or she'll have a look that he likes, and what he'll do is he'll start giving her a pass on certain things. Certain red flags or certain behaviors don't necessarily strike the same chord that they would have had the girl not fulfilled this look metric that you like, right? It might be the hottest girl you've ever talked to. It might be a girl that um, aligns with your religious beliefs. It might be a girl that comes from your town. It might be a girl that went to the same school as you. Maybe you guys are the same alma mater. Guys are fantastic at finding ways to give girls a pass that might not necessarily deserve a pass because they want to almost qualify her and they rationalize it in their head to do so, right? Because deep down, we all have that ick or that little tick in our head, in our mind whenever a girl is probably not going to be a good candidate for a long-term relationship. But a lot of guys will overlook that because she does other things. Oh, dude, she plays video games. Oh, we're so alike, right? And your eagerness and happiness that she has some similarities with you or maybe that she's the hottest girl it could be a multitude of different reasons why you might qualify her but the point is that you qualify her without doing your due diligence and what's up happening right is you don't check your work when you don't check your work you get the wrong answer remember in math class you'd be in there you know one plus one is two or ten plus ten is twenty right and you could like go back the teacher would always say go back and check your work or show how you came to your answer yeah a lot of you guys don't check your work you just kind of come to the answer but if i ask you hey Reverse engineer that and tell me how you arrived at this number. Did you carry the one? Did you divide this? Blah, blah, blah. A lot of you guys can't actually do that, right? You guys can't reverse engineer how you came to your conclusion. So I want you guys, because a lot of you guys are analytical. Some of you guys are engineers. Some of you guys are involved in certain professions that are very, um, you know, how do I say this? I don't know. Put you on the spectrum a bit. I'll just say it that way, right? I want you guys to look at dealing with women almost like a mathematical equation where you need to arrive at an answer, and then I need you to be able to reverse engineer how you came to that answer, right? And uh, and know that you that you did it right. So, going back to what I was saying, this is why time is so important because you're going to be able to figure this stuff out. And the thing is, there's um there's this famous saying: there's three things that always show themselves: the sun, the moon, and the truth, right? But the truth can't necessarily be shown if you don't allow enough time for the truth to come out because girls will put on a facade in the first few weeks or months that you meet them to kind of because here's the thing they're not stupid you guys will sit there and talk and you'll tell her your interests and hobbies what she'll do is if she really likes you is she'll contort her likes and hobbies to align with yours or she'll start doing certain things that you said that you're interested in to kind of create this aura of like look i'm the perfect match for you girls are very good at doing this Right, especially when you're looking for a relationship. So this is why you need to have her for a period of time where you're vetting this out to see if she's actually genuine and authentic when it comes to that stuff. Because they will sell purity, they will sell the girlfriend uh, appeal, they will sell certain characteristics, traits about themselves or characteristics to kind of get you on uh, the hook, line, and sinker. Because no matter what girls want, tell you guys, right, women typically want a long-term relationship. They don't want to be you know, having to be doing a hot girl summer all year, right? There's a reason why it's called hot girl summer, not hot girl year or hot girl life. They don't want to be single all the time. Whenever girls say, I'm single by choice, that's cope. No, you're single because the guy that you want doesn't necessarily want you back or you don't qualify for the man that you want. So therefore you rationalize it and say that you're single, right? Uh, girls will go ahead and make fun of men and say that they're incels. Well, a lot of these girls are relationship cells. They can't get in a fucking relationship, <laughs> all right? But what they'll do is a lot of them will to combat that is sell you purity. And if you don't do your due diligence, vet them for a good amount of time, right? 
she'll get you. I use an example that's in pop culture right now, right? A lot of you guys might be familiar with some of these streamers, right? Whether it's um, Lacey or maybe Aiden Ross a couple of years ago or Jinxie, or Jinxie etc. These guys get with a girl, right? Jinxie in this case got with like this girl, uh, I forget her name, Bricky something. Bricky Hill? Yeah, right? Clearly, right? Out of his league from a sexual market point st- uh, standpoint, right? He's a regular ass dude, and she's an attractive girl. But he has a lot of status and, and fame, so she aligned herself with him. But did he vet her properly? No, because this is a girl that does OF. She's a content creator, so he should know to some degree, well, okay, this girl is with me because I'm famous and that I can go ahead and help her with her career. Same thing with Neon and Frank. He's getting with a girl where there's a significant disparity in sexual market value. So a lot of guys aren't, you know, maybe they they can't or they don't want to reverse engineer why she's there. I'm a three. This girl's a five or a six or seven. Mm -hmm. Why is she with me? I haven't, uh, and and then you're able to quickly figure out, oh, this dude's famous and that aligns with their goals. These girls are only fans chicks. So they understand the game where they will sell purity, purity to a degree, get with said individuals, propel their career, and then bam. Now you end up in the situations that we've seen where this neon chick, uh, this girl is disrespecting neon all the time. Jinxie breaks up with his girl. She has the audacity to say, oh yeah, he watches corn when she's a corn star herself, which is fucking comical to me. Right, insane. Right, uh, or Lacey, he he wiped up this 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 Anna. chick. Right, sh- t- taking her to Laker games, also the shit, putting her on camera, and then he uh, he finds out later on that she's cheating on him at a party. This all came from what men not doing their due diligence and vetting these women. And guys, the more you have to lose, the more famous you are, the more status you have, the harder you have to vet these girls out. You have to employ um, r- more rigorous and invasive tests to see where the women really stand, especially. Especially if they're girls that are involved in social media and want to be creators. Matter of fact, I tell you guys all the time, don't even wipe these girls up. I wouldn't even give them a chance, to be honest with y'all. You know? Um, because I already know they're there for ulterior motives. So the, the whole relationship is built on a fucked up foundation. Yeah. Very good point. Uh, so, so time, guys, is your best friend. 100%. And with time comes experience and wisdom. So guys, I've been through a lot. You guys have seen the past couple of years. Mine as well. But more importantly, I've learned to maneuver in certain instances. I'll give you one. So with time, right? She's going to act a certain way in front of you. Only you. Because obviously she wants to make you feel happy, good, in the moment. However, something you can employ with time. It's very elusive, very ninja-like, very sneaky. Is you can have a friend that's a girl. Chill with her alone. To garner or show her intentions. Let me explain. So what I did was, I had this girl that's cool with me. She happens to help me with a service. I don't want to say what that is. Not sexual. And she went out with Exhibit A, Chinese girl, and had like a little talk. They went to go get some, some drinks real quick, talk a little bit. And it's funny. She spoke about her intentions to the girl. And but also to her, I knew from the very beginning what her plan was. Now, granted, though, uh, it's funny because girls talk differently. Was this another chick? Nah. Yeah, a different chick. Not nah, Angie. You know her. Oh, because she also says some dumb shit to Angie, too. Yeah, does the, you know, back stuff. Okay. Yeah. Right. All right. So, okay. So, it was like. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So, it was like, okay, she acts one way in front of me, but let me see what she acts with a different person that's not me at all. That's completely you know, away from me. That's a girl herself. And you'd be surprised. Girls talk to sound impressive and to say like, oh yeah, I got this guy and this is how I move. And that right there will tell you how she is without you being in the room. I'll say this right now, guys. They act a certain way when you're there. When you're not there, let's see what they really act. And you'd be surprised. Like one tactic you can do will show you who she really is behind the scenes. Oh, we're, we're, when we do the test, right? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I really wanted to harp. There's a reason why we made... Um, the first step one, guys, time. Yeah. Too many of you guys don't give it enough time. You guys are in a rush to give this girl a title. You're in a rush to get a girlfriend. And I'm here to tell you guys, six months to a year, no exceptions. Six months is bare minimum. Yeah. And, and to be honest with you, even six months is going to be very difficult. Yeah. Um, and you might not get everything that you need to get. Because 
the less work you do right up front, the more work you're going to have to deal with on the back end. Because you didn't do your, your due diligence. Now she's over here fucking up your house. Yeah. Now she's embarrassing you. Now she's doing w- whatever, you know, it, it is. And then worse yet, it's going to be a lot harder for you to get rid of her. Right? Because you didn't see a lot of this stuff coming. And nine out of ten times it comes out of left field and you don't, you don't see it coming and it messes you up. Also, with time, you should do it a background check. Hey, hero, chill out. Just to make sure. This involves a credit check, a life check, and a friend's who she's around check. Which means, if you can, I mean, you can't always do this because some, you might not know her friends or her family or who she's around, but if you can, get a vibe check. Wink, wink. Figure out her credit score. Figure out mentally where she's at. She's on antidepressants. If she's taking any medication. And thirdly, see where her friends are. That says a lot about her in detail. Her yeah. friends. 